Hello everyone, I'm here at Lotus Garden Park, right um, on the edge of Back Bay National Wildlife Refuge, right near Back Bay. And um, look at this. So uh, someone posted a thread on Palm Talk that uh, got me really interested about possible native sable, sable miner uh, dwarf palmetto in Virginia. And now it's uh, been, there's been speculation for a long time that it uh, dwarf palmetto is, or at least at one time was, native to the state of Virginia, uh, presumably southeast Virginia, of course, because that's where uh, naturally its range would go if it were native to Virginia. Um, people have speculated the Dismal Swamp. People have speculated, uh, um, of course, Back Bay is the most um, speculated place because that's right uh, the closest to where it's actually native, uh, actually uh, recorded as being the northernmost native to Monkey Island is right uh, near Back Bay. People also speculated first landing. But uh, that's, yeah, most people say Back Bay uh, if it is native to Virginia. Now, I'm here on the edge of Back Bay National Wildlife Refuge, and um, you have this dwarf palmetto specimen. Looks like a um, beautiful uh, older specimen, so clearly it's been here a while. Now, I, I mean, I could pretty much, I think we could say with safety um, that, I don't know, it's, uh, it, it's clearly been here um probably at least 15, 20 years. And uh, this specimen, I don't know if it was planted or if it was uh, naturalized or if this is possibly a native specimen. This is interesting. This could very well be planted. It has needles surrounding it. It's in a sort of cleared area of the park where there's like sort of a camping area next to the water. So this could be a um, completely planted specimen, but it also could be native. So this is just interesting. It's, it is cool, uh, at least to see it here in this sort of, uh, natural or semi-natural area right next to the, uh, to the, uh, the marsh and, uh, the watershed. So it is cool to see it here now. So we have a dwarf palmetto in the park over here. And, uh, now I've, what originated this thread on Palm Talk that got me interested in wanting to come here was, uh, was this, uh, an image of like, I believe it was a red bridge with some dwarf palmettos in the foreground. I don't exactly know where that bridge is, but, um, it, uh, I think it's near here at some, somewhere. Anyways, then another person posted a picture of some young, uh, civil minor volunteers or, uh, possibly native palms. And, uh, look at this. I think this was the picture someone posted. So here on the edge of the parking lot, see, um, and also on the edge of the swamp, right up against the water, um, in this sort of natural um, shrub area, you have what is uh, certainly a dwarf palmetto specimen. And uh, it's, it's young, clearly. Um, it's got some fronds that have already started to split. And you know what? There's not just one. There's at least two or three there. I can see two more seedlings um, next to that one over there. And, uh, so I'm guessing these germinated within the past, maybe, um, you know, three years, probably maybe the past five years, something like, like that. Um, so these clearly are newer than that, uh, much older specimen, uh, down there. But, um, it is interesting because we have dwarf palmettos at least naturalized. We can safely say that this specimen at least was not planted, um, here. So we have at least naturalized dwarf palmettos. Now, whether that even means people will begin to recognize it as being a naturalized palm in Virginia, uh, that's going to take some work. Usually naturalized means you have a lot of specimens that have escaped into at least one uh, or often multiple areas, uh, natural areas where they've, you know, started becoming volunteers and growing without human aid. So we have at least one naturalized specimen, several here actually, but they're young and, um, they're, uh, they're few, there are only a few of them. But could this be a remnant of a once larger population? I mean, clearly a lot of this land was clear. We see houses and all sorts of buildings down there. It's a relatively thin um, remnant of marsh and uh, intact uh, forest and swamp. But, um, nice hawk up there. But a lot of it's been developed. So I am almost certain, or at least I strongly believe, and uh, this isn't just me wanting it to be the truth. I really do think there's evidence to support um, that sable miner at least used to be native to uh virginia uh presumably that'd be the virginia beach area and um i think that so i think that i think that it was at least one time native now whether this is naturalized or native i really can't say um you know i mean people are inclined to say naturalized because it's a young specimen and i think a lot of it depends on the age of that specimen how, how did this get here did this come from a seed from that one i don't see any seed on that sable miner uh it's just one sable miner 
Uh, so I don't know how this got here. If this, did this get here from another population? I mean, I definitely saw another picture um, of, of Sable Miner elsewhere in this immediate area. So this really begs the question, is Sable Miner native? Uh, please let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm really interested to see what you guys have to say. And uh, this is a, a topic that is uh, of, of great interest to me. I'm very uh, interested in this. And getting to visit here has been very valuable for me to see these actual specimens. Clearly this is younger, but seeing that older specimen, I mean, I don't know, why, why would they plant that? I mean, I, I, I did see another tree that looked planted there, but these old pines look old, clearly not planted. Um, most of these are native plants that are, that, that are here and pretty much everything in this park, despite the fact that it's cleared a bit, is not planted. So I don't know, was that planted? Was that naturalized? Where were it naturalized for? I mean, 20 years ago, there were probably weren't as many dwarf palmettos here, at least in cultivation. I don't know. I haven't seen any nearby in gardens, so I don't know. I think we can safely say that there's some naturalized sable miner in Virginia, clearly here in a natural setting right along the marsh here. But this is at Lotus Garden Park, which uh, you guys can visit. There's a parking lot right here. So right along the parking lot is this sable miner specimen there. And then right in this sort of cleared area next to the campground is that other specimen right there. So very interesting, very very interesting indeed and um please let me know what you guys think this is just fascinating and uh if i find any more specimens along the edge of the water or elsewhere in these natural settings i will let you guys know and um i spoke to the guy at pungo palms nursery and he said between you and me when he was talking to me he said they're here i asked him uh I, I said sable miner is, is native near here right trying to sort of uh push him a little to see like to push for some information, see what he had to say. And he's like, between you and me, they're here. They're in the woods. And he pointed across the street from his nursery. And um, I didn't know if he's talking about right across the street or just in the woods, because there's large tracts of woods there. It's in like a rural area. And he says, but I just don't know if they're naturalized from my specimens or if they're um, actually native. So please let me know what you guys think. This is really fascinating. And um, yeah, I mean, they're native to, um, to a Monkey Island, North Carolina, which is just a few miles south of back bay and, and of the virginia border so they're clearly native close to here if not here so really interesting let me know what you guys think and take care folks stay tuned for more videos um, my last day here in virginia beach so um, i'm sad to leave but it's a really uh fascinating place and i got some palms at pungo palms nursery and i can't wait to show them to you guys all right have a good one folks and stay safe out there